Welcome. All my beautiful brothers and sisters. Take that, love. Take that. Take that. Yeah. So today, I'm going to be talking about art. I'm going to go, I'm going to do a series of, um, I'm going to do a series of, of short videos um, going through pieces of my art. Okay? And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm going to start off today. So I've got some art scattered all around here. Yeah. Yeah. So which one am I going to do today? This one, that's right. So I'm gonna stand back so you can have a quick look at it. What do you think? Isn't that interesting? It was really interesting when I painted it. And um, there's a lot of aspects to this. Um, most of my art is really about uh, it's basically based on philosophical uh, musings or uh, yeah, inquiry, meditations, things that I see on the inside, concepts, I suppose, um, observations of, of trying to figure out what's going on in this world. So this is one of my, the results of one of my inquiries. And... As you see it from out here, it's quite energetic, and it is an energetic piece. Um, and this black being here really signifies uh, our shadow self, as it were. Um, so, as we zoom in, we can see actually something else is going on. And these are African people all over the world, especially in the diaspora, who have been denied a voice. This represents our shadow self, our deepest fears and pain and suffering. And now they're breaking out of the jail when they're now having their say, okay? So it's a mind simulation, the hyper-real, what is real. Yeah, connecting back to Atom. The dualistic principles of creation. Okay, yeah, and uh, so down here, we've got a different scene going on in the chest area of the shadow and down here we've got a being here a brother an african and we've got a european man there just in his in his suit you know uh in his it represents his, his babylonian slave suit it says it's a corporate uniform and he's like a banker and he's trying to find himself there because he knows that there's something else but he's so entangled in his commerce and what that uh, brings buying and selling even people we're still trying to find something so he's gone to find the lord and this is the heart this is the self just symbolically yeah? the self in the center and he's like saying hello lord and a voice comes back who is it it's me dave president go away there's only room for one in here. This brother saying, Yes, Lord, I. Who is it? It's you, Lord. Ah, come in. There's only room for one in there. In here. You see? So here, we've got 
Uh, where is he here? This figure here. He's making an offer. He's got his corporate suit on, and he's got a bag of fuckery in there. Please excuse my language, but that's the, the, the best word to explain it. Uh, he's got his mask on. It's a COVID. He's trying to make an offer. It's not what it seems. He's got a grey suit and a red tie on. He's got a mask on. Is he a villain? You decide. You got above here fishing, the guy fishing. You decide what that means. He's free. Yeah? All this stuff on the side. All this writing. There's writing in here. All down here. And this represents our chattery mind. That internal conversation. That thing that's not necessarily your friend because it's always chatting and tells you bad things. It brings up the past in a negative way. The mind is not your friend. Are you the mind? Is it your mind or somebody else using it to filter things through, to control you? So these are contemplations. Who are you? Who am I? Okay. I have the sense of I am. My I, I amness, my isness, my beingness. So this is this represents that and how the beingness, which is infinite, manifesting through all terminals, i.e., all bodies, plant, mineral, animal, and we have this animal body. But the I am is none of these things. It's that infinite consciousness that I've been exploring for the last. Well, most of my life, I'd say. So, this is symbolic, really. Sound vibration. In the beginning was the word, and the word created form. And up here, I have somebody, a space man, a techno guy. He's lost it, and he's heading to the light. So there's many things that inspired me to to do this, I can't go into it all, but it, it, we're down here, we've got running from the shadow, running from the shadow, and here we've got while running to the shadow, but up here I've got the shadow is a powerful portal, because it is, you see, it's a portal to, 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 to depression and winding down. If one takes it as that, one gets trapped in that dark place. Or once you get out of it, it's a place to infinite connection. Yeah, it's an intermediate space, but it, it can seem like it's, you're in, a, you're, you're, you're in a dark nothingness, but it's not. Switch it around here, consciousness, it's a portal to anywhere in, in creation and existence. So this is what, what the portal is to me. Yeah, upon my own investigation of my own shadow. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little video about uh, art and my painting and, and uh, 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 what's behind it. Um, yeah, this is my offering. And this will be uh, up on my website very soon, once it's finished, uh, for sale. It's got a lot of energy. I love doing this painting. It came about so effortlessly. You know, it was, I was so, so much in the zone. Um, and time, I was like I was outside of time. The painting pretty much painted itself. I was like the instrument. But it's, it was, it's, it's based on introspection, meditation, the inner and an outer worlds. And uh, basically just saying what I'm saying. Now, the beauty, of, the beauty of art is everybody may see something different. And whatever you see in it, that was there for you because you're I am. To give thanks everybody. Have a wonderful day. I'm having a great day, despite the weather being so gloomy. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. 
share and uh, tomorrow we'll do another video on one of my other pieces so give thanks and speak soon <laughs>